the United States experienced major waves of immigration during the colonial era, the first part of the 19th century, and from the 1820s to 1920. Many immigrants came to America seeking greater economic opportunities, while some, such as the Pilgrims, in the early 1600s, arrived in search of religious freedom. The peak year for admission of new immigrants was 1907, when approximately 1.3 million entered the country legally. Immigration plummeted during the Global Depression of the 1930s. Between 1930 and 1950, America's foreign-born population decreased from 11.6 to 6.9 percent of the total population. This according to the U.S. Census Bureau. The federal welfare system was created in 1935, so all of these early American immigrants could not have come to America with any expectation other than the hope to work hard and create a better life for themselves. The question is, is there a meaningful difference between a citizen and a non-citizen? So what is the distinction between citizens and non-citizens? What do citizens get that non-citizens don't? Why is that a meaningful distinction? Well, citizens have access to a social security card and some more access to our social safety net. Um, and we've, th those distinctions have always been in place, which is why people work so hard to come here to become a part of our American fabric, access to our social safety net, it's which is why people work so hard to come here, it's which is why people work so hard to come here, access to our social safety net, it's which is why people work so hard to come here, access to our social safety net, it's which is why people work so hard to come here, access to our social safety net.